What's up you guys? Big day today. The corals have arrived and as you can see, I'm dressed for the occasion. Just kidding, that's not why I'm dressed. So I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My wife and I go to the temple most Saturdays, so just got back from that. Came home to this, which are the uh, corals from Corals Anonymous. At least I hope they are. If they're not, then that means my wife's ordering more stuff. Ah, uh, this definitely feels like it's got water in it. So I'm, I've been stoked for this order. Corals Anonymous is not where I typically buy corals. <laughs> I sound like that guy from Tosekis. I don't always buy corals, but when I do, no, I don't always buy corals from these guys. Um, but there's one coral that I love that I don't think anybody has except for Corals Anonymous. Corals Anonymous, in my opinion, carries the most cost efficient bang for buck torch coral that there is. That would be their Hellfire Indo Torch Coral. The reason I know that is because I've actually, confession time I guess, I've actually ordered this coral once before already. Took a chance on it, really liked the photos. It appeared to be pretty yellow with really vibrant green tips. When it came in, I was even more impressed with it. It's got great coloration that's kind of green and yellow and green. Some of those Holy Grail torches are almost too yellow. This one, in my opinion, glows really well. And right now, a single polyp is going for $244, which is a steal. A lot of these designer torch corals are really expensive, and so that's why I decided to go ahead and order this. So confession, I had one of these, and I put it in this tank here, and it was doing so well. But I had read somewhere that lowering phosphates might increase things like, I don't know, increase coral growth, even increase coralline algae growth. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna reduce phosphates by putting some GFO in the tank. And I think by taking down phosphates so suddenly, it killed a lot of my LPS. It killed this specific torch coral, which is why I've ordered it again. This is months ago. And it also killed a frog spawn and a hammer coral. They all got brown jelly disease. A couple of the other euphilias were getting brown jelly disease, but then I took the UFO out and then, the UFO, <laughs> GFO out. And as soon as I took the GFO out, um, everything started coming back to life. So I honestly don't have the highest opinion of GFO. So let's do this. Man, I'm like so dressed up, like all business all the time. Love this, even while we're reefing. So I did something that I never do, which is I actually ordered two of the same piece. Um, that's part of the reason why I was waiting for the price to drop on these torches. I was really hoping that they would now in 2020, 2020, 2022. Where is my mind at? Man. So, I did wait for the price to drop because I wanted to buy two because not only do I want to put this torch in this tank where I know it will thrive, but the living room tank is actually doing exceptionally well right now. So um, I couldn't decide whether I wanted that torch here or in the living room tank more. Honestly, I probably wanted it in the living room tank more. I'm just not like, I'm just a little reluctant to put anything fancy in the living room tank because I've officially had corals in there for a month and everything has done pretty well, but since I, since I actually have some bryopsis in there, um, and in the past just about everything has died, I just, I didn't want to push it. I want to make sure that I have a coral in there, that I can try it out. If I see any signs of the torch receding, I'm going to put it in this tank like as soon as I can. Hopefully save this uh, because it's a great piece. Okay, leave us a review for a $15 dip, gift card. I will definitely do that. Um, and then I also got a frog spawn coral, which I also want to try out in the living room tank. And it's a green and teal one. Um, it, the photos on Corals Anonymous look great, but I, that, there's a caveat to that, which is Corals Anonymous, in my opinion, is kind of notorious for uh, using the good old Photoshop to make things look a little more vibrant than they actually are. This Hellfire Torch Coral is obviously the exception to that. I just told you that. There's a reason why I bought from these guys specifically. I'm just hoping that what they've sent me is the same thing they've always sent. Okay, so the first time that you order from these guys, they give you a 10% discount too. So, I mean, make it a large order, take advantage of that discount. All right, let's see here. So we've got three corals. Doesn't look like they sent me any free stuff. Thanks guys. But what do we got here? Okay, this is the frog spawn. Okay, well, it looks healthy, that's great. Put that in the living room tank, which means these guys are our torch coral. Let's take a look. Single polyps they're supposed to be. All right, that looks good. That will do. We got this one. Looks pretty good too. Honestly, I'm, I think that we're good either way. We could put either of these in the living room tank. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right, so we are floating the bags. There's that frog spawn. Got the uh, Hellfire Torch Coral in the back. Love the color on that. Yeah, that's exciting. As you can see, the rest of the tank is just like popping. This seriously makes me so stoked to see it. I mean, for the longest time, I couldn't keep anything alive in this tank. Take a look at this. So I brought some of the zoas in here, uh, some of the zoas that it's already started to grow onto the rock in the other tank. So I decided, you know what, in order to up my effort in this tank to get more corals in the tank, um, anything that started encrusting in the other tank, I just took the whole plug and put it in here. So we have got the emeralds on fire there up front, the orange oxides, the fruit loops there in the back, the uh, super saiyans, we've got the purple heart zoas. Those are Twizzlers, which came back to life in this tank. That's how you know this one's doing well. Then we've got the uh, Blondies, of course, Candy Apple Zoas. We do have the Utter Chaos, Ketchums. We've got the Space Invaders, the Candy Gains, which is kind of the one coral that just, I don't know. This guy's just never liked being in this tank. I think the light might be a little too high for this guy. There's not enough depth in this tank, you know? So I want to make sure that there's enough light to grow these Monoporas. This Red Cap Monopora is doing pretty well. Um, I've seen it actually grow, like the rim is expanding. So I know it's growing, it's just doing it slowly. Then we've got this green grafted coral. Um, and then I'm not sure what this coral is called again, I can't remember, but I put it up there and it remains, its color remains. Got some eagle eyes, um, which I actually took out of this Pico tank. That's because as you can see, the eagle eye started uh, growing on the rock. So I uh, just let that be. And then this is ultimately how I measure the health of most of my tanks because I just feel like if you've got a hammer coral that's healthy, I mean, that means that your tank's ultimately built to uh, support a pretty good variety of corals. And I just feel like their polyps show the health of the coral more than just about any coral. Got the Blastos, some Bowsers that are uh, recovering actually from the last tank. And then uh, I'm not even sure what these guys are, but there's always got some mushrooms. Anyways. The, the point is, the tank's doing pretty good. And uh, I'm really excited to put a few more pieces in it um, and see how this does. All right, just changed my shirt because I don't want my wife to kill me. I've, I've gone through a lot of white shirts, folks. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I actually want to glue these frags. I'm gonna take the time to glue them because uh, one of the things I forgot to point out, uh, there is actually a torch coral down there. It's just fallen, so. Uh, torch corals are pretty sensitive and I just think you need to get it right the first time um, Otherwise they fall and They're sensitive and they get banged up and then they just never they're never the same again. So we are gonna glue these guys. Let's go ahead and do that All right, just glued this guy in here man, he looks good. He looks good already and uh, Frog spawn I'm sure we'll open up here in a bit glue glued the other Torch in there gonna keep an eye on this guy um, I realize he fell, he's a little upset. There's a difference between being upset and dead. So we're gonna keep an eye on him. Uh, I also put up the Akan. Uh, you know, he's closed up because obviously I just had my hand in there and whatnot, but he does really well. And I'm proud of that because I've actually, whew, is that like a blur? There we go. Did you see that? That was like tied up, that was mystical. So I've actually never, successfully grown an Acan or a Favia, which you can see over here. <gasps> Actually, you can't see it because it fell. It's down here. Unbelievable. I glued that thing in. That's upsetting. I gotta put that back. There we go. Got that guy back on there, that Favia, um, as well as these pink Zoas. They're not pink diamond. They've got that green center. I think they're called boomers, but Basically, now we've got some color in the tank and they're all frags and it's essentially just a waiting game now. So we just have to wait for this stuff to grow and take over. Might add a few additional things here and there from the other tank. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and check out that Hellfire Torch in this tank. Making my way downtown in my Crocs in my office. Okay, that is beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. I wish you could get the color. I don't have a filter of this specific torch coral, but this guy's so vibrant. I mean, that's a kryptonite candy cane right next to it. You see how bright that is? Like it's equally as bright. I have a Holy Grail torch up here and I mean, it looks great. Good color variety, definitely very yellow, but I mean, this guy, 
I'd probably take him in a heartbeat. I'm glad I see this comparison. I'll probably never buy a Holy Grail torch again unless I see it in, in person. I ordered this one online. Came at a great price. Got it from Pops Corals. Thanks, Pop Corals, by the way. It is a beautiful piece. One month later. All right, so it's been a month since I've ordered the torch corals that I talked about. I wanted to provide a month later update so that you can see the torch coral after it's been in a tank, it's adapted, it's opened a little bit. You can already see this guy opened. Let's talk about him for a second. So here he is in all his glory. Um, actually, not necessarily all his glory. This guy looks so good under blue light, which the blue light is turned up pretty high in this tank right now, but not all the way blue. When, it, when this is turned up all the way blue, from root to tip, this is almost all yellow. It looks like a true Holy Grail torch. And then it's got its green ends, which just contrast that yellow so well. Um, this has honestly become my favorite torch out of my entire torch collection. One tip that I'll say is that when I originally put it in the tank, you probably noticed I put it a little down closer to here, down in the base. Um, I brought it up a little bit, honestly, because it was the only place I could securely glue him. He kept falling. Um, but by bringing him up closer to the light, you can see how close to the top of the tank he is. He's actually colored up quite a bit. This frag is a lot more yellow, is a lot more colorful than the torch in my other tank, which is ironic because when I placed this torch in my tank, I honestly thought it was just an ordinary dragon soul torch. I thought that they had gypped me um, and it sent me one hellfire torch, that I put in, which I put in the big tank and that this one was just a dragon soul torch. But after about two weeks of being in this spot, he's just colored up so nice. And I can't wait for this thing to grow, potentially frag and uh, give back to some of you guys. The rest of the tank is doing pretty well too. I actually had a rose bubble tip anemone split in the last month. And this is officially the first rose bubble tip that has survived this tank for more than a week. So I think we're at the point now where um, just about anything can survive this tank, which is super exciting. So there I turned up the blue lights quite a bit. Again, the camera isn't going to do this justice um, without a filter, which I really need to get. But uh, if you were to see this in person, you'd really think that this was a holy grail torch, um, the way it shines. And uh, again, for the price of $244, this is an absolute steal. You might be able to find a better torch out there for a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. Um, but for those of us who are balling on a budget, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Just make sure you put it at the top of your tank. And if you do that, I mean, can you see that? Like just backing away without the blue light, you see how much more colorful that is than anything else in my tank, including those super sands at the bottom. It's really impressive. And it didn't cost me a Samsung TV to buy that coral, you know? Now, if we come to this tank, which by the way, has all kinds of new members in it. Um, I moved the yellow tank into this tank, which I'm so glad happened uh, successfully because as you can see, I have two zebrasomas in there. And while they're posturing a little bit, they're not fighting. Um, there haven't been any uh, major chips and fins or anything like that, but this powder blue tang is new. Just got him from New York Aquatic, um, as well as the School of Chromis. Um, I didn't have a School of Chromis, and you can see my fish used to hang out in the back of the tank, but part of the reason you need a school of fish is because it just lets the other fish know that it's okay to swim in the front and show off. So just a side tip while we're talking about the torches here, but coming in, you can see that I moved the Hellfire torch to this position here. Um, instead of down here at the bottom. I know that most people say torch corals should hang out closer to the bottom, but in my experience, they just color up better when they're closer to the top. In fact, if I could go back, which I can't because these torches are grafted into the rock, they've absolutely latched into the rock, I would have put this Hellfire torch closer to the top instead of down here at the bottom. Um, because this one, while it started off more colorful, actually doesn't have quite the color that the other torch coral did because um, it's got an anemone, um, some other torches. I think stealing some of the light it could be it could be getting. But even so, if you just compare the color of this torch to the cotton candy torch next to it, the torch coral, you see that it's just about as colorful. 
The difference is, is that this is a $500 torch here. This right here would ordinarily be a $1,500 torch, but this $244 torch, I mean, even not receiving the light that the other torch is getting um, is almost as colorful and vibrant. Um, whereas this torch coral is another $244 torch that I just honestly regret even putting in here. This Indo Gold torch, I've never been impressed with Indo Gold torches. Uh, people constantly compare them to Holy Grail torches and they just it's just not comparable. This here is, again, just really bright. I wish I could do the colors justice here. So there it is, you guys. The Hellfire torch coral from Corals Anonymous. This is honestly the best bang for buck coral out there. Again, if you're looking for designer corals, you're looking for the very best torch that exists in the world. I mean, you can probably find something a little better than this, but for $244, this piece stands out. Let's face it, in this hobby, we're trying to do the most we can with as little money as possible. It feels good when you save money on corals or fish, when you can find them for cheaper. So my tip for today is if you're looking for an absolutely just showpiece torch for your tank, get the Hellfire Torch Coral from Corals Anonymous. Right now it's on sale for $244. Even a month later, I checked, still on sale. You get a single polyp, a double polyp, you can get a triple polyp on there. So check it out. Make sure you like this video if this content helps and make sure that you enter in the giveaway by commenting on any of my reef videos here for the crack, spelled K-R-A-K. That way you can enter into my drawing, which I'll start at 2000 subscribers, which is coming up folks. For the lucky subscriber who has commented here for the crack, that will get a free Grandmaster Krakatoa polyp sent directly to their home on me. For the next video, I'll talk about my New York aquatic order, which I recently ordered. Um, a couple tangs and other important fish from. And I wanna showcase that because once again, I'm trying to showcase where we can buy the highly coveted things like powder blue tangs, like torches for the least amount of money. And New York Aquatic is a great place to go. I'll have a video on that next week. Like and subscribe, make sure you're getting in the giveaway and happy reefing out there.